This is a how-to video on how to make your own dance slash stripper pole. And I've tried this many times and made many mistakes with this same exact pole, so I'm going to try and save you some of the trouble. I got everything from Home Depot for a total of $47, and this whole pole is free spinning and entirely removable, except for the very top piece. Now, let's start at the top. I'll tell you how I did this. First, I bought some plywood from the scrap area of their wood department and cut it up into four squares, which are about six inches by seven inches. The only reason I have plywood up top is because my ceiling sucks and the flange would have put a hole straight through my ceiling. Now you want to bolt whichever you use, the plywood or the flange, you want to bolt it directly into the beam in your ceiling, which will also create another hole if you don't. Now into the plywood, I've bolted a one and a half inch flange. Now inside of the flange I screwed in a metal hollow nipple to insert the pole into and I put some grease around the outside of the pole and inside of the nipple which helps it spin so what you want to do also with your pole is you gotta measure from ceiling to floor the exact in the exact spot that you want the pole to be because there are a lot of rooms that don't measure the same exact height as other spots in the room so make sure you measure accurately and as for the pole I purchased metal conduit from the electric department and I sanded it because if you don't you're gonna get these little burrs that stick you and tear apart your hands so I got the metal conduit sanded it painted it chrome and let it dry and then I put a coat of clear lacquer on it which creates a pretty nice surface for sliding and sticking, however you want to look at it. So now down the bottom I've got another metal flange which was one and a quarter inch and I had to purchase this little adapter here which screws onto the pole itself because places will not thread the conduit. They say it's too thin and it's got threads on the bottom of it which screws into the one and a quarter inch flange. Now I've got the other two pieces of plywood here, but in between them is a Lazy Susan, which is a 6 inch and it holds up to 500 pounds. So you shouldn't have a problem in that area. Now if you can see, it's got little bearings inside of it that allow it to spin. So you bolt the Lazy Susan in between the two pieces of plywood, and if you need to, you can paint the plywood which I would suggest if you have to have it up top besides the bare plywood kinda looks ugly so there you go your very own removable free spinning dance or stripper pole if you have any questions leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer you